In this video I will show you how you can install co-reader on your Kobo e-reader or any other e-reader. I will talk in the end of this video on why you should install co-reader. First off you need to download a one-click Kobo package. We'll find all the links you need down below in the description text. Then after that you need to download a install script for your computer. In my case I will use a Mac script because I have a Mac computer. They are available for Mac, Windows and Linux. After that you have everything you need. Now it's time to install CoReader. First you need to plug your e-reader into your computer and have it powered on. Then click connect and now you are connected to your computer. After that it's time to find the two files you downloaded and have them in the same folder. And on a Mac, Apple unpacks the zip files and throw the zip file into your trash can. So you need to find the zip file and move it back into the folder you will have where you should install CoReader from. So move that back to the right folder and then delete the folder that Apple unpacked for you on your Mac. So now you have two zip files, the CoReader zip file and the install script. Now double tap on the install script so you unpack that zip file. Now you are ready to click on the install script file. On a Mac you need to right click and choose open and then click open. After that a shell script opens and there you should enter the number of the corresponding package you want to install and then click enter and the install script starts. In this example I only had one package so the number was zero. After it has finished you check that you didn't get any errors when installing it. After that you should safely unmount your ebook reader from your computer. So right click on it and choose unmount. That's very important that you should do that so please do that. When you see it vanish from your computer, it's unmounted. Now you have to wait until your e-reader automatically reboots. So be patient. After a while you will see it starts to import content. And that is okay, it should do that. And then after that it updates your UI and launcher to the co-reader version. It takes a while but be patient as I said. When it has done all the things you will have a new book. It looks like a book actually that you should start and that is the co-reader UI and launcher. So after a while it reboots again. And when you get this, it's done. Just click cancel to the question to connect to a computer because you don't need that anymore. Now just click on the book that says co-reader to start the co-reader launcher and UI. That is how simple it is to install and start co-reader. So every time you have to reboot your e-reader for some reason, you have to start the so-called book that says co-reader to start the co-reader launcher and UI again. But you hardly ever need to restart your e-reader when running co-reader because co-reader is so great and if it crashes, it just restarts into the Kobo launcher, the normal launcher, and just click on the co-reader book again to start co-reader launcher again. So you hardly 
ever need to restart your e-reader so it's very easy to always have the co-reader launcher and ui when using your e-reader one of all the cool things that uh, co-reader has is night mode you have night mode built in on any co-reader device any kobo e-reader for example can run night mode with co-reader that is awesome and co-reader has so so many different features i will uh, talk about those in another video after i have set up everything in co-reader as i want it and so on i will do another video showing how i have made all menus and all features in co-reader so you have a lot of cool stuff to do and you have a lot of features that you can use with co-reader you don't have all these features with the normal kobo e-reader launcher so that is a huge plus running co-reader because you get so much more use of your e-reader and have a lot of more settings to do to have an, an even better reading pleasure when reading books so i can highly recommend using co-reader because you get so much more options and settings and you have a lot of great stats statistics when reading books and you can see a lot more information when using co-reader over the normal launcher ui you have on your e-reader and you can easily add new books to your co-reader e-reader after installing co-reader because you can do it in a lot of different ways you can for example use a caliber calibre library directly on your co-reader e-reader so you can connect to your own calibre library on your own computer wirelessly so that is an excellent feature also and you can uh, use a lot of different other options like FTP and uh, a lot more different ways to add books. And I will hopefully also show you in another video how I do the menu at the bottom that shows how much you have read of a book and how much you have left of a book and all the really cool and advanced settings you can do in that menu because that is one of the greatest things with co-reader that you can have so much information about the book you're reading at the bottom of the screen always visible if you want you don't have to have that you have a choice here you can choose exactly what information you want to see from nothing to a lot of information at the bottom of the screen that is also one of the greatest features we co-reader so you can for example see how many pages you have left you can see how many chapters are left you can see how much time is left to read you can see how much time is left of the chapter you can see percent of a book or a chapter and you can see a lot more in that menu and you can also do some automations and profiles and so on so you can activate a profile when you want for example reading at bed at night and one profile in daylight and you can have the corners you can program the corners to have different stuff you want to show so i have for example in all the corners i have one for stats i have one for night mode i have one for bookmarks and so on you can do what you want actually in the corners of your e-reader so you can program all the four corners to do different settings and different stuff that you need you can also have a corner to activate a profile so you have programmed a different profile with all the different settings and then have that activated in one corner that is awesome and you can also set all the different settings of uh, text and columns and uh, everything else 
as default by just long clicking on that settings in the menu so you can have all the settings you want differently made as default so all this and a lot more you can do with the co-reader launcher ui so i can highly recommend installing co-reader and it's easy as you saw in this video and it works with a lot of different e-readers just check the links down below in the description text to what you can do with it okay bye